Hello, my name is Ruth and I am part of Audacious Sheffield and I'm here today just to chat with you for a couple of minutes about community. If we have a look at Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, God says it's not good for man to be alone and this doesn't just apply to romantic relationships. God was explaining here that it was his plan from the beginning for people to be with people, to be in community. Paul explains this a bit further if we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And he's talking here about all being part of the same body. And it explains that we don't work properly when we're on our own, that we were designed to be connected to other people. So have a think about this. Where is your community? Now, back in my granny's day, your community was where you lived. It was the few streets near your house. It was your estate, your neighborhood, because that's where people spent the majority of their time their whole lives in fact. They lived there, they worked there, their children went to school there, that's where they hung their washing out. The neighbours were the people that they spoke to every day, that was their community. Maybe your community is at work with the colleagues that you spend eight to nine hours a day with. Maybe it's at the school gates where you're chatting with parents waiting to pick your kids up. Wherever it is, being part of community is a choice. It's a choice whether to engage with people or not. I've worked in some places with a really, really great sense of community, but not everyone who worked there has felt part of it. There are those people, and I'm sure you all know them, they'll come into the staff room, sit down, headphones in, head down, nose in the phone. Then they get up, walk out again. They may as well have a flashing neon sign above their head saying, don't talk to me. I'm sure you all know one or two people like that. Same for me. I could turn up at the school gates to pick my kids up every day and just be there scrolling Facebook and just keeping myself to myself. But what I'd be doing is missing the opportunity to engage with the people in my community. And in doing so, I'd be missing the point of what I was created for. Community can happen wherever people are. And I just want to, to encourage you, think about your workplace. Is there a sense of community? If so, are you a part of it? If not, can you start to build community? Can you start engaging with people, spending that extra five minutes asking a couple of questions about their family or about their weekend? How can you make a positive influence on your work community? Maybe that's speaking positively instead of joining in with gossip or complaints. In my life, making the effort to connect with people within my work community has led to some really amazing conversations where I can share my faith, I can tell people about God, explain why I go to church, and you never really know what sort of seeds that's gonna plant. I used to work in an opticians for about five years, and while I was there, I got to know people, chatting in the staff room, and generally just having life conversations with them. However, I never really felt like I had any of those big Jesus conversations. You know those ones where you get to like clearly lay out the gospel while someone's eating their meal deal. Um, after about 10 years since I worked there, I suddenly connected with one of my old work colleagues on Facebook, you know, as you do, you find people, and we realised we both recently had babies, so we thought we'd meet up. Now she told me that getting to know me at work had actually led her to Jesus. Not directly, I had no idea. She said that she was quite impressed with how I treated people. She loved chatting with me and getting to know me and she found me to be like a really genuine person, which was a lovely thing to hear. But she decided to go to a local church just to check if all Christians were like me. And then she ended up coming to know Jesus for herself. And that really blessed me because I had no clue about the power of choosing to connect with community until I heard that. It's amazing how God can use you without you even knowing, just by connecting with people in the day to day. So at some point today, take a minute and think, where is my community? Think about where you spend your time and the people who were there with you. Think of one thing that you could do today to make a deeper connection with someone. Make the choice to connect with your community because it's what you were made for. God bless. <laughs>